In this video, I will be discussing restriction endonucleases. Restriction endonucleases, also called restriction enzymes, are enzymes that cleave DNA at specific sequences. These enzymes are particularly valuable in a lab setting because they allow scientists to cut, isolate, and manipulate DNA segments of interest. Restriction enzymes are naturally found in bacterial cells. These cells use their restriction enzymes to cut apart DNA that has been injected into them by viruses. Cutting up the viral DNA prevents the virus from successfully reproducing within the bacterial cell. The key is for the restriction enzymes in the bacterial cell to recognize sites that are only found in viral DNA and not found in the bacterial DNA. The bacteria wouldn't want its own DNA to be cleaved by restriction enzymes. So as I've said, the restriction enzymes can only recognize and cleave DNA at specific sites. This site is called a restriction site, which is often 4 to 12 bases in length. For example, the restriction enzyme ECOR1 recognizes and cuts DNA at this site. It will scan the DNA, and when it finds the site GAATTC, it will cleave it like this. You'll notice that this cut does not go straight through the two strands. Instead, it creates what is called sticky ends, where these four bases are left without their complementary partner. Having sticky ends makes it easy to attach other DNA molecules that have been cut by the same restriction enzyme together. So we can see here that this molecule has two restriction sites. It will get cleaved in these sites by the restriction enzyme, and now we have three separate molecules of DNA. This second molecule of DNA has had a substitution mutation in the second restriction site. This means that the restriction enzyme would not cleave this molecule here. Instead, it would only cleave here, creating two separate fragments of DNA. So in a lab setting, what do you do after you've cleaved a DNA molecule? You can separate these DNA molecules using gel electrophoresis, and then after separating them, isolate a piece of interest. You can take this DNA piece of interest that you've isolated and insert it into a plasmid that's been cut by the same restriction enzyme, and then you can insert this plasmid into a cell to transform bacterial cells. All in all, some pretty cool things as a result of a restriction enzyme cleaving DNA in specific locations. If you're interested in learning more about what happens in a lab after you use restriction enzymes, check out my video on gel electrophoresis or my video on transformation.